Hey, before this video begins, I should probably mention, because I totally forgot to do so at the beginning of the video, but thank you to Shiny Shoe for sponsoring this video. It was a ton of fun to record, and I can't wait to play more. Hope you guys enjoy. Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Monster Train The Last Divinity DLC. It's an add-on to the game that adds a new faction, two new champions, a bunch of new cards, a secret last boss, a bunch of events, and some new kind of progression mechanics. Not progression mechanics. New kind of risk-reward mechanics that open the game up in a completely different way. If you've never heard of Monster Train before, uh, one, please go check my previous videos on it. I've played a ton of this game and I absolutely adore it. And two, I, uh, let's see. It is a deck builder roguelike, very good, one of the best on the markets, and just incredibly deep. It operates on the under the premise of make everything overpowered and then just kind of scale the difficulty accordingly uh, so that everything is always ridiculous and really fun. So we're just going to dive right in. Uh, let's see. So I think I'm gonna. We're absolutely gonna show off the new Wormkin. Do we? Who do we want to pair it with? I usually like pairing it with the Awoken. So let's just let's just dive right in with that one. I, I'm doing a lot of diving today. I've been thinking about swimming. Hello, Bogfly. So plus five damage per crystal. Five damage two enemies per crystal. Okay, these are both pretty good. And then Glimmer is just such a solid setup. Okay, so pack shards is one of the new mechanics. Uh, take on pack shards in exchange. For rewards, the more you have, the more powerful your enemies will grow. If you defeat the Seraph with 100 pack shards or more, you will unlock the true final battle against the last divinity. All right. Ooh, when played, your champion gains 50% max health. I'm going to grab that. Okay. And what do we got for him? So whenever he hits, gain a crystal, or friendly units have extra damage per charge deco. Now, I think we cap out at like 5 charge decos, so that's only like a, a 30 However, that scales up later. Okay, and of course, I'm going to try and collect as many pack shards as I can, win or lose. When an egg is summoned, remove shell 3 and apply armor. Spells get an extra upgrade slot, or X cost cards get plus 3 to their X value when played. I just, let's go first to hell packs. It is equal parts the least useful of that group, and also potentially one of the most useful. I don't... I don't really know if I want to go for this. Extra 10 armor very early on when I don't have a whole lot of cards is tough. Okay, build up charge decos to empower Wormkin. Oh, it's four. Infuse cards to add this to the floor. Okay, so infuse cards. So clan starter cards are infused. One card each draft pick will be infused. Oh, oh right, right. At the end of everything. Did I? I think, I think I'm fine. I don't need the healing. Okay. So Spine Chief. Not really the guy that I want to have in front here, but you know what? I don't really have too much of a choice. Okay. Now let's buff the Bogfly. Fracture. So, Reap. Unit takes one damage per stack of crystals after combat ends. Does not decrease. So I'm going to apply it to him, and we're going to just toss a Train Steward up here. There we go. Okay, so Reap will wreck that guy, and then he's just kind of on his own. Train Steward. Probably fine. Let's get another Bog Fly down. Boost it. Glimmer. Wait, is that just the... No, that's not the boss. Trusted Priest. I've never... Oh, it's like a champion monster. That makes sense. That's why he's tougher. Okay, so we've got Fracture, Fracture. Nothing terribly helpful here. However, these bog flies are getting mad strong. Uh, I don't know why I would reap my own dude. Let's just go for the heal. <laughs> I did reap him anyway, like a fool. Oh well, goodbye. We'll be fine. I, look, I mixed root seeds up with Fracture. Not like I... I'm in a whole lot of issue. Uh, have, having a whole lot of troubles. These bog flies are stupid strong. Infuse extract two, apply 15 damage. That's really good. So extract two, lose crystals or charged echoes. Um. After you play this card, if you cannot, card cannot be played. Apply two one or consume. Apply armor two per charged echo to friendly units or infuse to all cards in hand. I feel like Echo Transfer is kind of the way to go. Because it low-key somewhat pays for itself. These are tough. 
Vine infused vine grasp, it's like it's okay, but I don't care too much for it. Sharpen can be really good though. But I'm probably gonna just be doing a lot of damage. I'm gonna skip. Let's let's keep our deck relatively light. And so we got a couple of things we can do here. Wormkin Banner, Merchant of Steel, Divine Temple. I'd like to go for a Woken. But I think let's go for the early boost. Let's swing by the Divine Temple and just take a peek at it. Because it's not going anywhere. So Sacrifice a unit to infuse its essence into another unit. So I can potentially sacrifice a bog fly into a bog fly. Uh just to effectively double the uh the bonus. Oh, yeah, here. Toggle unit essences. Quick shorthand. Let's leave. I'm going to leave that for a second. Let's go for the Wormkin Banner. Etch. Triggers whenever a card is consumed on the floor. Maybe. Glug Slider. Oh, and we can also turn this on. Let's see. Glug Slider. Extract 4. Inspire. Restore 5 health. Revenge. Apply Reap 5 to the attacking unit. Wait. What the hell? Okay. So I have to have 4 charged echoes to even play this guy. Inspire. Triggers whenever you... Gain charged echoes on the floor. What? Like, this guy's interesting. Glug Slider is... I... I feel like I have to pick him up. What's his essence? See, this is real. Oh, it does make it bigger, but Revenge add 5 reap, reap to the attacking unit. I'm gonna grab that, because that just sounds like it has so much interesting potential. <laughs> Do I make him endless? He's got 200 HP, so making him endless might not be the most necessary thing I've ever done. We could also do an Echo Stone on a Bogfly. I, we could do an Echo Stone on him, but Echo Stone on a Bogfly makes them that much tougher. Or, not tougher, more da damaging? Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out what to do with, the, with Glugsy. Here, let's, uh, let's hold off, let's purge some stewards. Purge a steward. Okay, so if I want to go back to this, upgrade a spell with plus 30 magic power. That's incredible for a lot of reasons. Otherwise, magic power and piercing. Also good. But I'm going to go for the extreme stone on a glimmer. Because now it's insane. Sacrifice a unit. So talk about unit essences. So I could just boost a bog fly. Sacrificing Glug Slider or Glug Cider into something else that's chunky could be kind of good. I, that 200 HP though, I don't know. I feel like I need to. I need to figure out how to make it small. All right, and I'm actually gonna make that one piercing. That way we have a bit of both. Obviously, we've already got some pack shards, and that's gonna make this a bit tougher. But I believe in myself. Uh, let's see, and let's grab that. Threat level is max. That's going to probably make this really hard on me. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. No risk, no reward. We'll make it work. So the question is... Well, I don't have any crystals. It just makes this awkward. What a bad immediate draw. Because, yeah, I can't... I literally can't do anything here. So the question is... Where do we put my dudes? I'll put him up there. Uh, let's see. I'll put a train steward down. Not that he can do much. And... 
Oh, not enough charged echoes. At least we got one of the two. That hurts a bit. Not much I can do about it. This is convenient, though. Okay, so let's pop the glimmer here. Wipe the ball out. Pop the bog, bog fly. Go down. Extinguish him. And then root seeds on that guy. Unfortunately, I don't think we can do echo transfer. No, we could. Apparently, there's no limitations. Okay, we've got him with the encant. We're not going to take a whole lot of damage, though, so I, I'm not terribly worried. Okay, unfortunately, that's not going to necessarily stop him. But that's okay. So what do we got? We got a glimmer. Gets me the heal. And I've got... Plug Cider, but there's nothing I can do about that. I think we're just going to go all in on beefing the top. And work on Plug Cider in a bit. Right. Top him with Glimmer. Do we just get him with a double fracture? Yeah. If I go back up here, we can boost somebody. Because we should get some more on the next round. Okay. Pop that immediately. Let's see. Hit him for 20? No. Nah, let's just over crystal. That hurts him pretty bad. There we go. Okay. So, could go for another bog fly. It really does fit the build. See, 50 damage to the front enemy unit? No. Let's go for the bog fly, especially if the bog fly is infused. Restoration detonation. I mean, I kind of have to. That fits so well with uh, Glug, Glug Cider, it's not even funny. Ooh. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Let's go for the Wormkin banner and the mer Merchant of Magic in the Concealed Caverns. I'd like to go for the Herzl's Horde, but Pyro Remains is kind of wasteful right now. So we'll start with the banner and then figure out the rest. Oh. Okay, Kinhost Carapace is wonky. When played, gain damage, health, and size per crystal. More or less means that he, you put him on you put him in last, and when you do, he becomes obscene. That said, he is a very obscene monster, so we kind of want to go that direction. Reduce a spell's cost and then give a spell holdover. I mean, honestly, I wish I could. I wish I could infuse one of these. Because yeah, having a uh, an infused glimmer probably would do the trick. The rest of these are great. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna do the root seats. This one specifically. Make it free. Because it has the plus draw on the next turn. Uh, let's see. Do I want to... I honestly want to get rid of Ancient Resonance more than anything else. Oh, wait, no. That's a AoE. But is it a good AoE? Especially because I already have Glimmer, which is cheaper and doesn't have the requirements. Yeah, let's just get rid of it. Could have given it Consume instead, but oh well. Anyway, let's pick up the money, go to the Concealed Caverns. What do we got? Ah. These. I'm gonna... I'm gonna grab the automatic Rail Spikes. Do I? Yeah. Because, like... Baseline, it does 30 damage. 
That's a lot. Do I... You know what? No. I don't want it. I... I just... It doesn't fit my build. If I was going for more of a spellcaster build, I think I'd go for it. Okay. Explosives explode twice. That's... Spooky. Yes. Okay. I can't do anything with Glug Slatter as I am. But that's okay. Now what do I got here? A mess. I think I'm gonna pair Kinho's Carapace with Glug Slider. Probably. Okay. And let's just toss both stewards down. It'll go away. Okay. Start with a Glimmer. Take no damage. Then we go... Let's go up here. I'm gonna fracture that guy. Get him with the Reap. He dies. Boost that sucker. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna put that down there. Do I? Yeah, I'll put it down. That way I have something to specifically boost with the root seeds. Let's see. So these guys are fine. What we want to do... Oh, we're not going to be able to get the Kinho's Carapace, are we? Uh, it's probably okay. And in retrospect, Glug Slider should probably go for... Oh, that was hasted. Um, well then. Bam! Have you met me? My creation. Okay, so he's... He's kind of awkwardly organized here. But that should kill a lot of them. Thank you, Glug... Glug Slider. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the googly eyes, I didn't even notice them at first. Oh, they're amazing. Look at this behemoth of a creature. Alright. Let's go for the piercing, take care of that. Is he still reaped as heck? Yeah, he is still reaped as heck. Let's see. I'll make him slightly tougher. You have encountered a glug. What do you do? I think we need some space here. Let's see. It looks like... Oh, no. It looks like we kill him. Let's let's kill him a little bit more judiciously. There we go. This is actually a really solid combo. I'd still prefer to put the glug cider on top, but still. Ooh. Infused, consume, draw X plus three and apply negative one to those cards. I mean, Echoes of the Past would be great, but that's the reason why I picked up the first Hell Pack, because I knew it was going to happen, and I knew it was going to be amazing. Okay. They've also changed the Awoken Hollow. So, Infuse, which is great. Summon, gain 60 max health. Rejuvenate, cultivate 2. Increase the damage and health of the, lowest, of the friendly unit with the lowest health and cultivate value. Oh. Alternatively, unit essences. Extra damage, extra health. Bigger size, but also rejuvenate, cultivate too. I'm gonna grab that. Okay, so the question is, do we want more space or do we want more energy? More space means more critters stacked on the same floors. More energy means getting more stuff out. I'm going to go energy first. Actually, that might have been a mistake. 
it's too late now, but it's fine. Uh, oh, these are tough. Because Hellvent. Hellvent is amazing for a couple of reasons. Because we can dupe stuff. Specifically, I would not mind duping the Root Seed just for free uh, Echo duplication. Or free Echoes, because they pay for themselves. We don't really need the health. And we could also get rid of the Stewards, who I don't care for. Otherwise, we could go here, get some money, get a Merchant of Steel, get a banner, which I could potentially infuse into another creature. I, you know what? Let's go this way, because I want to, I want to mod my units. Yeah, giving this guy multi strike just alone makes him in insane. Okay, then we'll think about the rest of this. I'm going to skip these. Okay, Dark Forge. Realistically, we want the Corruptor. It's just way too good. Then let's take a look at this. So upgrade a spell to be even stronger, which, like, I, it's very expensive. But getting Glimmer... Getting a Glimmer that heals 60 and damages 60 is just kind of goofy. The other thing we can do... Rejuvenate... Cultivate 2. I mean, otherwise, we don't get rid of that. We don't even touch these. The only one that would be remotely worthwhile would be potentially mushing some of these bog flies. But my thoughts are to some degree... Combo this Awoken Hollow with this Kinhost Carapace. Combo two of these bog fly or two of these bog flies with my champion, and then the last bog fly with the with the glug slider. You know, I could potentially double this effect, but it's not gonna change too much. I don't know, let's just go for the let's just go for the power. I'm gonna boost this glimmer so it's just that much stronger. Okay, so let's go back here. We want to re-roll. Let's see if I can get something fancier. Health spikes three. Honestly, as tacky as it is, giving him the extra health and the spikes three, or this guy. Let's actually give it to the Awoken Hollow, because the Awoken Hollow dies kind of easy. Okay, and then do we purge? Do we purge a card? Yeah. But after this, we stop We stop spending money to purge. It quickly becomes not worth it. I'm sure there's better, better, yeah, better meta strategies for this. But this is fine. And speaking of this being fine, this is probably fine. And if it's not fine, you know what? Hubris. <sighs> I love hubris. So how do we do this? Awkwardly. Realistically, I think I want to put the Spine Chief on top. And then I'm going to do the Awoken Rail Spike. So this gives me some options. Okay, it doesn't look like there's too much I can do here. Not immediately. I guess I'll just do the Echo Transfer and make him a bit tougher. Can't do Reap and can't fit Glug Slider in, but shit just got cheap. Have fun with that. Okay. So let's put this Bog Fly down, then this Bog Fly down. And then buff the hell out of them. 
Okay, next order of business. Steward. I'm just going to fracture that guy. Pretty much nothing's getting past this top section. So the question is, do we... Yeah. I'm going to squander a little bit, get the root seeds down. Do we get the Awoken Hollow down? Yes. Okay, so bottom is now... Almost Glug Slider worthy. I hate doing this. I'm going to make this guy do a little bit more damage. Just to get the Glug Slider down. There we go. There's the, there's the beautiful beast. Hit him with a Restoration Detonation. Hit him with an Echo Transfer just so he does a little bit of damage. And do we give him the Bog Fly? Or do we... Let's give this guy the bog fly. I'm gonna save up for the kin host, put it on the bottom. Okay, so they all get reap 5, which in retrospect works perfectly fine for me. Uh, so next up, hit him with a glimmer. Just give him a little bit of rejuvenation. Hit him with another glimmer. These guys are all dead anyway, so we don't have to worry about it. Okay. Just go with some of these. We got a lot of big boys here. Which actually works really well for me. So let's heal up. Root sides. Root, or root seeds. Root seeds. Fracture. Fracture again. And then summon an absolute mondus of a creature. And make him that much bigger. You ain't getting past. You gotta get past the glug cider. And my boy. That's a 44 reap right there. That's so good. Ooh, thorn casing. Not sure how much I care. I'm not going to be going for a sting. I'm going to just toss it. Infused. Return a spell card from the discard pile to your hand and apply it infused. Reduce the cost and consume. I don't like that. However, soul siphon. Consume. Fill slots with crystals. Apply ember drain to friendly units. But only within that section, which is fine. And let's grab, let's grab and graft. Because I can reduce the, the prices of that anyway. Uh, let's see. Oh, these are some options. I think I'm going to want to go here. The purge gate is nice. Magic shop would be great. But let's go for the art of, uh, let's, let's go for all this bit. When one or more charged echoes are added to a floor, apply reap to a random enemy twice. I mean, that just sounds great. They don't have enough money for more. Which is a bit of a shame. I usually save up for those, but that's going to be nice. <gasps> okay. It's like I gotta, right? Like, I could put it on the Awoken Hollow. It would make him decent, but here's the thing. My my champion is not necessarily meant to be a frontliner. But the Glug. Big Glug. But also, what about Little Glug? I mean, alternatively, we could go for big lug, but there's no way we'd be able to fit him. That would make him way too damn, damn large. Oh, really? I can't... Oh, right. Can't reduce the... The size of the Kinhos Carapace. Let's go with little glug. Little glug. He'll be our frontliner. Put him in front of the champion. Just let him, let him tank. Okay. Reduce his spells cost by two. That's an interesting point. Because that, that just changes it to X plus 5. That potentially gives me, like, most of my deck. I'm going to grab that. 
And do I give this piercing? Heck yeah. We're going all in here. All right. I'm about as beefed out as I can possibly get. Let's roll this. Uh, start a battle, enemy units. Yeah. Either I take some damage for 150, or I start with one of my big shots, and then we're fine. Okay, we don't, but that's okay. Oh, it's these guys. Uh, it's kind of fine. Bah, 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 bah. I'm going to start with this. Because that gets me the glimmer. Let's me just delete a lot of them. Do I get the Spine Chief down here? I was really hoping I'd get my second. I mean, uh, mm, what do I even put anywhere else? Do, I, do we want to just have these guys up here? I can, but it's honestly better to have my guys on a lower floor, for better or worse. So I'm going to pop the Soul Siphon here, right off the bat. Get them some Reap. Get him down. He's going to take a smidge of damage, but I'm not... I'm not in the habit of caring too much. Okay, fracture that guy. I think I want to wait on this bog fly, because I have better ones. And we don't have enough space. Okay. So, oh, he's got stealth... Oh, okay. Oh, no. Is this... It might be. Okay. Do we get a little... Little Glug Slider down? We might as well. And do I have the better Bog Fly? I don't. Okay, so in that case, I'm going to just glimmer the both of these. We are going to root seeds him. I'll just get that bog fly down there. Uh, let's see. And we're just going to fracture the heck out of this guy. Start getting my bits back. There we go. Given that, just get rid of him. This is the bog fly that I wanted. Okay. Let's boost him. Boost him some more. I mean, he's got the multi-hit, so we should we should be hitting him no matter what. Oh, that's the Awoken Hollow. I thought that was Restoration Detonation for some weird reason. Okay. Well... I just boost the hell out of everything. Let's see, we don't really need restoration detonation. Uh we kind of do. Cause let's get let's get this monster out. He's not quite as monstrous as he could be, but I'm not gonna get a whole lot of better alternatives right now. Let's boost that. This guy's in for a bad day. Let's see. I might want to consume that bog fly. Really, I just need a little bit more space. And I think that's exactly going to be what I'd go for. Boy, I am just reaping the heck out of him. I'm just going to put sad bog fly down there. Hello, boss. Okay, well... I might as well just fracture the heck out of this. And just kind of preemptively hit him. Okay, go back up here. Start boosting these. Go here. Go with the end graft. Can't really do too much else. So let's just boost him some more. Alright, hello, bossman. Ouch. Oh, he's got a... So we might want to potentially look into... Nope, we can't actually increase his max HP. Well, that's fine. 
So in that case, we're better off going for the Reef. And boosting my champ here. Not that that actually does a whole lot of damage, but it's fine. Yeah, so he's just going to Reef himself to death. Yeah, in retrospect, we might want to... We might want to... Boost the max HP of some of my, my basic dudes, otherwise I'm in trouble. Ooh. Return a consumed spell to the top of your draw pile. Broken I know broken memories is insanely good. I'm gonna grab it. I gotta. And let's grab that. Almost free spikes for works well in my favor. <sighs> so what do we want to do? Divine Horde? Sure. I could go for the dupe. But I think I'd rather purge. Potentially get rid of... Eh, no, I like Echo Transfer. I like most of what I got, actually. It's probably just the train stewards that I don't care much for. Uh, yeah? Yeah, let's go this way. Okay. I gotta boost this Bogfly's max HP. I could make something huger. I mean, we could have, like, just the lone large stone... Bogfly that I put on the bottom. But no, if I go for extra space, we're gonna actually have space for him. Let's give him multi strike. Okay. It's like, this only amounts to about 12 damage, give or take. It's not terrible. It just could be better. I could just put it on the Kinhost Carapace. What I'd really want is a... Well, I don't know. Let's let's just boost this Bogfly. I'd like to go for the multi-hit, but... I think I'd prefer to just not have to come back. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's just get rid of the train stewards as well. I know I could potentially sack them into boosting my Bogflies, but... I just... I don't know. Arcane Machine. Build a card. Oh, this one's interesting. Okay. Armor effect, frostbite effect, rage. We want to go armor. Uh, let's see. Damage, heal, or buff? Buff. Let's go down. And apply armor 10, gain 10, descend the unit. Okay, so that changes a lot. That's an incredible item, but it doesn't mean that we're going to have to have a very bottom-focused build. Which is okay. When you first summon a champion, gain a random unit with 10 damage, 10 health, reduce cost, reduce size. I'm going to go for the Conscription Notice. That could be really interesting, especially with the Downward Focus build. Okay, and it's this asshole. I We should be okay. He's usually not that damaging. But I might have to restart once or twice to actually get this rolling. Okay. So this one's a bit noodly. Okay. We're good. What is this? Should be fine. I'm gonna hit him with a reap. Now well, let's give my champ some armor. I can't get Glug Cider down. 
but I kind of didn't expect to to anyway. Uh, let's see. So what is this one? When one of my units dies on this floor, add a weight of contrition. Okay, that's not so bad. So let's get this bog fly down. Boost it a bit. Echo transfer it. I guess I'm going to get this Woken Hollow down and Restoration Detonation him for some bonus damage and let him just sit there and hit there for a moment. Um, I'm probably going to just start descending all of my units pretty hard. Okay. So whenever I play a non-morsel unit to that floor, that should be fine, honestly. Okay. And I'm just going to Soul Siphon that one. Let's take a look at this. So, let's get the Bog Fly down. I do have one consumed card, but no, I don't want to boost that. Let's, uh... Oh, shoot. Bother. Whatever. Let's do a Glimmer. Ah. That is wonky. Okay, and we want to hold on to the Broken Memories. Okay. I get him with the Engraft. But I think I actually want to do the Awoken Rail Spike. How many cards do I have to draw? I, okay. Ah, this one's tough. Get the Bog Fly down. Yeah, let's just do the Awoken Rail Spike. Why does it only give me five? I have no idea. Okay. Let's move this guy down. Make him nice and tanky. Broken Memories. Give me the Awoken's Rail Spike again. Let's see. Let's go up here. Stop for a second. What is this? When a unit dies, Weight of Contrition. Alright, so that doesn't even factor in my decision-making process here. Okay, we got some bleed, but I don't think I care. There we go. Bottom floor is spooky. <laughs> and we don't even have everybody out. Okay. Tragedy here is... Eh, we got a couple that this could affect. I don't know, I might want to wait wait on the Awoken Rail Spike. So that just applies days to my units. Which actually is not that big of a deal. Let's see, do I go for the glimmer? Yeah, the main issue is we're not actually able to leverage Glug cider nearly as well as I'd like to. It almost would make more sense if I leave the bottom open, farm it up so I can get Glug Cider out, and then, then I bother to actually uh, start moving everybody down. Oh, I need to visit a magic shop to see, see if I can get that thing hold over. Because that would solve a lot of my immediate problems. Okay. Well, And I have no way to pull him forward either, which is an issue. Because I want to get Glug Cider down, but I don't necessarily need it. This will be fine. I'd like to heal this guy. Yeah, let's just go for the heal. I'm going to keep him around, even if he ultimately doesn't really factor that well into my build. Okay, now that I've cleared those out, now we grab the Awoken Rail Spike. There we go. Now we got some stuff. Yeah, I'm just going to reap the heck out of this guy. We're actually going to do some damage. Uh, it, 
I probably should have gotten the Kinhost Carapace down, but I don't have the energy for it. <laughs> I'd be one hell of a Kinhost. Uh, let's see. Do we just do we glug it up? I'll just glug it up up here. Get him, Glugzy. Hello, bossman. Alright, so first and foremost, let's old magic down here. Glimmer. Yeah, that's just when one of my units die. That's not an issue. Okay. Next up, one, two. Three. Can host Carapace. That makes him nice and chonky. Let's give him a little bit more. Life is so far so good. Boss is in a bad, bad way. Let's, uh, let's fracture him a couple of times. We're here. Does this qualify as bullying? I would say so, yes, actually. Anyway, yeah, I'm just going to keep stacking the Reap on him. So when it's finally final wave time, uh, we add Viggins. And then we, I don't know, we just boot, boost these guys. This is just a spooky floor all round. <laughs> and then I just have bonus Sharkman. Thank you for your contributions, Bonus Sharkman. You actually did a great job. <laughs> Alright. So. Oh, these are tough. Cycle of Life. Infuse 10 health, spikes 3. That's real good. There's also the Wildwood Tome. There's also Adaptive Mutation. These are tough. I'm kind of up for whatever. Because Adaptive Mutation could potentially let me hot swap. Because the uh, Spine Chief's damage bonus, I'm pretty sure, works like Rage. Where that's a, that's a temporary boost, and so when you flip them, it effectively would just set a unit's... A health equal to their attack without actually impinging on, on their attack. Would be good. The extra spikes could be really nice, actually. We're going for that, and we're going to go for energy. I was originally going to go for space, but we don't need it. Reason being, if I'm just stacking all of my dudes on the bottom, I don't need space on the bottom. Alright, let's go this way. We want the boons. We want the horde. Horde gives me magic power. And spell. Gain holdover. Hell yeah. Old magic. And then do we make old magic free? I mean, like, kind of, yeah. The other alternative would be making Cycle of Life cheaper. Let's make Cycle of Life a little bit cheaper so it's less of an immediate problem. Because the Awoken's Rail Spike should cover most of what I need. Okay, remove, consume, cost plus one. Cool. We're actually going to do that on Broken Memories instead. Mainly that way I can uh, bring back some other cards freely. It's a little bit more versatile and a little bit more cost. Okay. And then let's make Cycle of Life just that much cheaper. I think I'm fine. Okay. Dark Forge up. And then we have the Divine Temple. Intrinsic. Starts in your opening hand. And that's way too good. Not to just throw onto the Awoken's Rail Spike. Okay, we could also do some unit sacking. But, like, honestly, why? 
I guess the other thing I could have made intrinsic, in retrospect, would have been the one that I, I just get the... Oh... As goofy as it sounds, Soul Siphon as an intrinsic might have actually been better. No, 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 no. No. It's not. I'm happy with what I've got. Don't second ge guess yourself, Wander. You're making all the right decisions today. Not boss, non boss enemy units gain extra damage. For 400 gold? Hell yeah. We are. This run is busted shit, and I love it. Okay, it's mostly busted shit. That hurts. Alright. Let's get Big Smoke Lug. Then the Chief. And an Animus of Will. A small one at that. And this is why I did the thing that I just did. <laughs> oh. Oh, hoodie. We're in such a good moody. Let's just make this creature obscene. Then swing up here. Uh, let's see. And just kind of fill that out for a bit. Can't fit anything else here. But that's okay. Might as well do restoration detonation. And then I'm just going to wait on the bog fly just so I don't have to move it down twice. Alright. I made it Good decisions today, I think. Let's take a look at this. So, first and foremost... First and foremost, I guess the most immediately beneficial thing for me to do... Move that down. It gets the armor. It's nice and chonky. Next up... Cycle of Life. Root Seeds Her. Ingraft him, because it pays for itself. Yeah, we've got we've got enough energy to spend on whatever the heck we want. With no limitations. Let's go for the heal. Money boy dies. Yeah, we good. My god, Glugsider is just like the coolest thing. I love him. I love him dearly. He is my child. He is my monster. Okay, let's do let's do broken memories. Grab the awoken rail spike back. Give him that, and then just kind of boost these guys. Not that it really changes too much. Blood Slider is just going to get absolutely bodied every single round. But that's ultimately okay. Alright. Bit of a hot take. We're actually going to cycle of life this guy. Move this guy down next. And then we're going to go up here. Restoration detonation. Root seeds. Kinhost carapace. Not as big as he could have been. But pretty damn big all the same. There we go. Hello. I have created a spooky environment. Right. Broken memories. Let's get, grab the Awoken Rail Spike again. Now, all of these guys are pretty, pretty chonky. So I don't think we need to worry about it too much. Let's move him down. Let's make Big Lug sufficiently big. Heal him up. I know Restoration Detonation can be used for damage, but... Like, why? Hello, boss. Okay. Let's start with the obvious. Let's just move him down. Can't move. Oh. Because <laughs> it's full. <laughs> you know, grand scheme of things, that's fine by me. Alright. Old magic. I'm just chucking everything all over the place at this point. Oh. Bam! I... I don't know. This might honestly be the strongest run I've ever had. 
I could be wrong. Uh, some of my Munch Beast runs were pretty dang ridiculous, but this one, it's up there. Uh, no, I don't really care for any of these. Like, Focus Growth could be kind of good, but I'm going to just skip. I've already got a bunch of draw-related cards, and since everything is free to begin with, it kind of... I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just... Things are happening. Ooh, do I want a Hellvent? Old Magic. Armor 10 and 10 damage. I, that's honestly better than any of my Root Seeds. The only problem is it doesn't apply crystals, but I just... I don't know if I care. Remove consume. Just reduce the cost of things. I... let's leave this. I don't really care about removing consume necessarily. Let's grab Decay Decoy, because that's obscene for what I'm doing. And Base Charge. Days 3, Melee Weakness to enemy units on the bottom floor in the first wave of combat. Oh, that's not, that's not actually that good. Alright, so let's go back to the Merchant of Magic. I'm going to reduce the cost of Broken Memories, just because that's the one that's least likely to actually get affected here, maybe. Um, and then let's re-roll, see if I f find something fancy. Could do holdover on something. Or we could just keep reducing the prices of things so I can just slap them down faster. Let's do that. And do we just purge? What would I purge? I don't think I would purge anything. Honestly, kind of tempting to get rid of Restoration Detonation. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, gain an artifact. I just... I, I don't care too much about any of these. Like, let's go for the Encased Divinity, if only because that helps with reaping. But that's about the upper limit of what I even care to do. Who do I even give holdover to? Probably the engraft. Free energy. I don't know. I'm grasping. This runs over. Seraph just doesn't know it yet. And then there's the divinity who really doesn't even know it yet. Alright, hello, foes. Alright. It it glug time? It certainly do feel like glug time. So let's get the spine chief down. We get a Sire into the Sea, which I don't really care too much for. I mean, they're okay. Fracture that boy. Get the Glug Beast down already. Beast up. Broken Memories just gets me the Rail Spike back. Engraft for the free energy. Bog Fly. Beefy Bogfly. Fracture the boss again. Goal is to just do as much damage to him as possible. Beef that up. And I'm just going to chuck this sucker down on top so he can hit the boss when the boss is up there. Also because that can happen. I forgot about that part. Okay. Uh, it's fine. Here, I'm going to give him the Awoken Hollow just as a buddy. The two of these guys will just hang out. And they'll just smack the boss. So, speaking of smacking the boss, let's honestly engraft him for the extra boost. Pop the bog fly down. Buff it up a couple of times. Awoken Rail Spike. 
we're not going to be able to get the Kinho's Carapace in retrospect, but that's okay. That's not really what I'm here for. What I'm here for is old magic. Let's give him some spikes. Go up, fracture the boss. Glimmer hit the boss. Get the other bog fly down. Move him down. I'm just going to burn the soul siphon just because there's no point in keeping it around. Okay. Let's go and graft. Fracture. Fracture. Just to hurt him. I don't even know what's going on half the time here. Uh, let's see. You're the one with the limited HP. Not that that's really much of a concern either. With old magic to give me armor, we're absurd. Okay. So, big immediate issue. You know, old magic this sucker. thinking about it, Kinho's Carapace, like, he's good, but he doesn't scale much. This guy has the encamp bonus. Let's move him down. This guy can just hang out here as a bonus, hits the boss as the boss goes by in case the boss summons anybody or something. I don't really know what I'm doing. I, I'm just going. Uh, let's see. Do we have any more critters in the deck? I don't think so. I might actually be able to jam him down. I think we've got just enough space. Maybe. Let's do fracture. Doesn't look like we've got any other fractures. Okay. Boost him. Kill that. Broken memories. Give me the Awoken Rail Spike back. Because realistically, it's not even... I'm not even using it for the Rail Spike effect uh, anymore, because I've got so much energy. I'm just using it to get the free draw on things. Okay. Can I move him down? I can. Oh, this, this got beefy. Not that we need anything to get beefy at this point. Okay. Uh, let's pop the Root Seeds. Woken's Rail Spikes. Now every everything is deliciously free. Deliciously incandescent. <laughs> I don't need to fight the boss. I just need to let him delete himself. 820 damage! <laughs> Oh, this is a good run. Reap is such a power move. Anyway, time to fight the last divinity. There's different status effects for each floor. Gains 7 damage when it gains Relentless. Cool. Oh, I see. Relentless is after the initial couple of waves. That's fine. Please give me... <laughs> Okay, that exists. So, he's just doing 9 with Trample here. Which is fine. This is a double hit, and this is Sweep. I don't mind Sweep too much. I certainly don't care for the money. Okay, let's pop, no, let's cycle of life, pop the Awoken's Rail Spike. Because there's, there's Lou Glug, who is ultimately what we kind of needed there anyway. Get the Soul Siphon there. Okay, 
get the bog fly down, and then immediately move him down where he won't die. Blood slider is going to take some damage, but it's not too bad. Uh, let's see. Started playing the reap on the lower floors, because that's arguably where we're going to need it the most. And let's just go. Okay, next up. Don't have anybody else to move down, so I can use this old magic to boost this guy. Somebody here has an AoE? Oh, Reap doesn't work well against him. That's kind of annoying, actually. I don't like that. Oh, well, let's pop a Glimmer up there so they don't get absolutely smoked. Who's doing the three damage? Oh, it's just this guy doing the three damage. That makes sense. I guess. I'll give him the Reap. Okay, I got two bog flies. Let's put this one down and old magic him downwards. Go back up here. Boost that. Give him the pyre shards. We have restoration detonation. I gotta use it to heal Big Lug. He's just taking that much more damage immediately. And then we wait. Okay. Let's engraft him. How much damage have we done? We're doing a decent chunk. Get the broken memories. Grab the Awoken's ra Awoken Rail Spike. Go for that. Boost the Glug. boosting this boy. So I guess I actually should boost the boys in the back. Oh, we got a Ventral Shard. Rude. Okay, let's think about this one. I guess I'm gonna give that guy the boost. The Root Seeds... I'll play the Vengeful Shard. Do I play the Kinho's Carapace? I'm not going to, but I might prep for it. Okay, so I'm going to get the Bog Fly down. He's got plenty of HP, so he doesn't just die here anyway. Dang. I mean, I, I guess otherwise I could just put the Kinho's Carapace up top. Which actually works better for me in the long run anyway. Okay, hit him with a Glimmer. Hit them with a Glimmer. Just get, get that extra HP. And we're going to keep reaping Fracturing. Even though it's not the most useful here. Okay. Let's see. I don't see anything fancy here. So I think I'm just going to go all in on boosting this guy. Because he's the only one that's actively hitting the, the boss, I think. I mean, technically multiple of them are, but still. Alright. So far, so good. Yeah, we got him. Okay, so let's go up top. Let's... Grab this. I didn't organize this the best. But it's okay. So I'll just get the Kinhost Carapace up there. It'll be fine. Get that. That's it. Tanky sucker. But it's fine. The boss is dead. He's... He didn't even make it past the top floor. All right! Well, that's a dang good run. Obviously not a Covenant ranking, but you know what? I don't know. 
I'll leave that for other people. I, I'm the guy that just likes to make the obscene build and I just go on a stomp fest. It's satisfying that way. Hell yeah. Oh, there's a new card effect for beating the divinity with them. Alright, so we've also unlocked some new, new things. So we've got... Extract melee weakness. Increase slots by one on each floor. Shell 12 hatch summon Bog Wormling. Bog Wormling has a shit ton of HP. Etch, which is whenever you consume a card, gains extra stats, and it's just one tanky sucker. With Trample, too. Hell yeah. Let's see. Shell. At the end of turn, remove charged echoes from the floor. Remove shell from the front unit with shell. Okay. Eggs are going to take some doing. And definitely some learning. But with that, that's one heck of a run. I can't wait to play more of this. And I think with this DLC out and, you know, just some time to kind of relax and get excited for more content with this game, I think what I'm probably going to do is start looking into modding this as well. Because I know there's some absolutely brilliant mods out there that I can't wait to give a shot. So, I guess before we go, things to say. Uh, so the DLC is out now, today. Um, did they actually tell me how much it costs? <laughs> I don't think they did. So I, I don't actually know how much the, the DLC is. I'm going to double check one more thing. Okay, nope, there it is. There it is. They, they did actually tell me how much the DLC costs. So the DLC is paid, and it costs 12 bucks. Uh, and it adds the faction you just saw. There's one more champion that we haven't seen yet and haven't unlocked yet. Uh, and I'm not actually sure if I've seen them personally. I My mem memory's foggy, but I, I don't have a recollection of seeing the other worm champion. But suffice to say, if you absolutely adore Monster Train like I do, the DLC is absolutely worth picking up. It just adds more of the same, keeps development going for longer. And honestly... Well, more of the same. It adds more new toys to play with. Uh, I'd say more more of the same is also still valid just because Monster Train is some high-grade roguelike deck building. And so more of that is always good. Uh, but the new features and the new bosses are just absolute joys to encounter and deal with. And I don't know. I, I love it when roguelikes become slight DLC platforms where they kind of keep expanding outwards instead of, you know, just kind of going dead. Because there's so much potential in this game and so many others. And so having that that extra level of new content every, cu uh, every couple of months, every once in a while, is super nice. So, with all that, uh, I guess I don't think there's anything else for me to say. Uh, so, once again, thank you so much to... Uh, Shiny Shoe for sponsoring this stream. It was, or stream, this video. Sorry, I'm also going to be streaming this, but thank you, Shiny Shoe, for sponsoring this video, and uh, we'll be back for more. I guess, for those of you on YouTube, I will just have YouTube videos normally, but if you do want to tune in live, I will be celebrating the launch of this DLC uh, tomorrow at about this time, uh, so 2 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, so tune in if you want to watch me play this live. With all that said, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.